Hey guys, welcome to Film Smiths. I'm Zach. And I'm Abby. And today we're going to be talking to you about The Woman in Black 2, The Angel of Death. Also known as British 1940s Spooktacular. So, The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death, is the sequel to the hit horror film, The Woman in Black, starring Daniel Radcliffe. This one did not have Daniel Radcliffe, which is a real bummer, because he's great. And this is not so much great. I was really upset when I saw uh, the preview, the first preview for The uh, Woman in Black 2, because I love The Woman in Black so much, it is in fact my favorite horror movie. It's fantastic. Uh, best, right. best one ever. I don't like a lot of them, but I love that one. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it really nails everything that a horror movie should do. You know, it builds. It's not just cheap jump scares. There's a lot of genuine suspense. It's really, you know, really well done. Uh, the Woman in Black Two misses on all of those, pretty much, except for a small handful of genuine uh, scares. As the resident spook correspondent for the film Smiths, this movie compared to the first one flounders. It's just a sad thing to look at. The first one is also one of my favorite, mm -hmm. and I agree with Zach. They should have just stopped. Yeah. I uh, shouldn't have done it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what their end game was. You know, this this movie was not particularly well advertised. I mean, you know, a TV spot here or there, you know, previews. But from what I can tell, you know, it's not going to be doing that well. If this is a sign for anyone, we saw it on opening day. And we were the only three people in the movie theater. It was insane. That was it. Yeah. yeah I, I was there too. So really, it's not looking great from a box office perspective for The Woman in Black 2, which would make sense because it's not that great in general. To give you a little synopsis, because it's really not worth investing in, you, we're following, instead of Dan Rad, we're following a woman mm -hmm. who... We find her backstory out later, but she's basically working at an orphanage for World War II orphans, like in the old house where the woman in black two or the woman in black took place. Right. And, and then, the and the woman in black too. Same house. Yeah, same house, same marshes, bogs, yeah, everything. Same woman, there. there's the long road and the tide and basically everyone from the first movie left. Yeah. They got the hell out. Yep. And then no one was around to tell them, Hey, that house <laughs> don't go in there. Don't go in there. But so they did, and they then did. Lady of Black appears. Yeah, the woman's there, and she starts killing kids, you know. Same thing as the first one, just not, not, as, good. Just not as good. Yeah. Like not even a little. Because the strength of the woman in black is that the tension before the scares is so straining. Mm -hmm. You're just like, kill him now. Just, just end yeah. it. Whereas this one is like... It, cheap. Yeah. It was real cheap. It, there's, a couple, there's a couple of instances where you can tell they're really going for the same formula that worked in the first one, mm -hmm. but they're just, they just fall flat. I, I knew to be disappointed going yeah. into it, <laughs> and that's what I got. <laughs> so, and as far as actors go, there's no one of note. Narcissa Malfoy was in it. I don't even know her name, yeah, and I didn't even realize it while I, I was even, watching. I don't even know any of the characters' names, no. to be honest. It's just, it was that bland. So, how about we do the thing where we put it in its place? Y mm, yep. Okay. Uh, this movie isn't gonna be on my DVD shelf. I'm probably not even gonna watch this when it's just running on TV randomly. Oh, you see, that's giving it a lot of credit, thinking that it's gonna be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> if, if they get desperate for content and this mm -hmm. is on TV, I still wouldn't watch oh, it. Oh, it's gonna, you know, they, they sell those movies in a package, and it's gonna be one of the ones they throw in there because they can't get And everyone away. just feels sorry and sad when they look at it. Yeah. But, with that in mind, that's why I'm giving The Woman in Black 2, The Angel of Death, a 4 out of 10. And I am giving The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death, 31 women in black. Maybe one of those women can kill this movie from going any further. Here's hoping. So, this is our first official review of 2015, but of movies from 2015. We've still got a, a handful of uh, 2014 movies still coming out, uh, along with our list of top 10. Uh, so those will be coming shortly, if we've been recording those as often as we can. But then this is our first official 2015 review. It's exciting, it's a new year. What a poor movie to start with. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I, I had high hopes for 2015, but I think we should just phone it in because it's all downhill from here. <laughs> and, uh, if you saw The Woman in Black 2, leave your response or what you thought of it in the comments. And these guys have their Twitter handles in the description. Get at them, request things, and do all that good junk. Yep. And we're just, we're just going to talk about movies on the internet. Just forever. It's going to be a great time. Just forever. If you like 
these videos that we do, you think it's fun, or you just think we have an interesting thing to say about movies sometimes, share us with uh, your friends and family and loved ones, you know? And get them to subscribe. Yeah. Because these guys deserve it. Maybe they'll like it. More than most people on the internet. Aww. Thanks. You're welcome. Now end this video. <laughs> thanks, for, uh, thanks for joining us today. We're the Film Smiths. I'm Zach. And I'm Abby. Later, skater. And I'm Nick.